And we begin tonight with a deadline that has passed for the mother of two missing children from Rexburg to show the courts that her kids are alive and well. Lori Vallow's two children, seven year old JJ Vallow and 17 year old Tylee Ryan haven't been seen since September. Vallow and her new husband, Chad Daybell, fled the state the day after police asked them about the children's location late last year. The couple was found in Hawaii over the weekend where Vallow was served with a court order demanding she show proof her children are still alive. She had five days to do so, but there was no sight of her tonight on the island or in Rexburg. Madison County Prosecutor's Office tells us it's now up to the judge to see if Lori will be arrested. But there is much more to this story, including the suspicious deaths of the couple's former spouses and their radical spiritual beliefs. Our Gretchen Parsons has the backstory. They're, they're, they're good kids. They don't deserve this. It's been months since seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and 17-year-old Tylee Ryan disappeared from their home here right outside of Rexburg. It's left the community wondering where the kids are and police asking questions. October 19th, 2019. That's the morning the Fremont County Sheriff's Office got a call that a Rexburg woman died in her sleep. That woman, 49-year-old Tammy Daybell. At that time, nobody suspected anything was wrong. Tammy's husband, Chad, remarried just days after her death. His new bride, Lori Vallow. Vallow had two children from previous marriages, seven-year-old JJ and 17-year-old Tylee. But just a month after the couple said, I do, relatives of JJ and Tylee told police that no one had seen the children. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office determined that the kids had been missing since September. They went to the home, asked to see the kids, uh... They weren't there. We were told that uh, JJ was in Arizona with family. Uh, that was uh, checked and followed up on. That was false. And uh, they have not been seen since. In January, JJ and Tylee's grandparents put out a desperate plea to the community, offering a $20,000 reward for any information that leads to the safe return of the kids. Please give them back to us. They are just the most unbelievable children you, you'd ever meet. Meanwhile, police in Chandler, Arizona, told the Fremont County Sheriff's Office in Idaho they should take a second look at Tammy Daybell's supposed natural death. And so that was the reason for obtaining the court order to exhume the body and have an autopsy performed. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office exhumed Tammy's body and is still waiting for those autopsy results. But they say police in Arizona tipped them off because of what happened to Lori Vallow's former husband, Charles Vallow, this past July. Uh, there was a, I got in a fight with my brother-in-law and I shot him in self-defense. Charles was picking up JJ for school when Lori's brother, Alex Cox, shot him dead. This is a 911 recording from that day. And is he hurt or is he alive? Or? Yeah, there's blood. He's, he's not moving. Cox told police he shot Charles in self-defense after Charles and Lori began arguing. He, he came at me with a bat. Anyone been drinking or doing drugs or anything today or no? I, I don't know, but I've never seen him that enraged before. Several months later, Lori's brother Alex Cox died. The cause, unknown to this day. When uh, her brother shot and killed her ex-husband, uh, there were several people present. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, those people are all missing or dead. And the two children being two of those who are missing. So yes, we have some concerns. Police are still investigating the deaths of Charles Vallow and Alex Cox. But court records show five months before Cox killed his brother-in-law, Charles filed for divorce from Lori. Charles citing that Lori was mentally unstable. He said she referred to herself as a god who was assigned to carry out the work of Jesus Christ before the second coming. And if Charles got in her way, she would kill him and an angel would help dispose of the body. Those records are from February 2019. Charles was killed in July. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office says after his death, Lori and her kids moved from Arizona to Rexburg. It was around this time that JJ and Tylee's grandparents would lose all contact with their grandchildren. After Charles was murdered, July 11th, 
we've had three contacts with JJ, mm -hmm. uh, three very short FaceTimes, that last one being the shortest. The last call was somewhat of the most, uh, it was the awkward call because it, it was a call like somebody was watching him and directing him. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office says Lori's new husband in Rexburg, Chad Daybell, shared her bizarre beliefs about a looming doomsday and wrote dozens of books on the subject. Well, I think there was an organization here that Chad Daybell uh, was promoting or heading. I don't know a lot of details about it. Uh, I didn't know they existed here, uh, but it has become apparent that he did have uh, a significant following. Can you tell me where your kids are? Where are your kids? No comment. No comment? They've been missing for four months. You have nothing to say? In late January of this year, Lori and Chad were found in Hawaii, dodging questions from a reporter as they ducked into a hotel. Listen, just tell people what's happening. There's people around the country praying for your children, praying for you guys. Why don't you give us answers? That's great. That's great. That's great that they're praying for you, praying for your kids, what? You have nothing to say? Did you do something to your children? Are your children still alive? Police say there's no evidence JJ and Tylee were ever in Hawaii, leaving the mystery of Lori's missing kids unsolved. We're not promised tomorrow. And all I want before I go is just to see those children. And especially, and I'm being greedy, especially my boy JJ, my little man. Gretchen Parsons, Idaho's News, Channel 7. Many are asking what's next. Earlier tonight on the News at 6, Kauai police told us Vallo and Daybell are still on the island and police are standing by in anticipation of an arrest warrant being issued by Rexburg police. Just after 8 o'clock, the department issued the following statement. In part, it read, we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of the concern from the public and the media regarding this sensitive case. Please also keep in mind that this is still an active investigation and certain matters must remain confidential and cannot be disclosed. Of course, we'll continue to monitor this story online, on air, and on our app.